so we'll go to question number three it says open curtain o2 activate the bus elevation and select the curtain wall on the left and i should change the horizontal grid justification to center and what is the area of the highlighted panel uh, i should take care to which panel here is highlighted because um, in many questions there will be uh, some things required that are visual you have to look at a picture and uh, extract an information based on a highlighted uh, object or there will be an arrow pointing to something uh, so that's uh, something to put in consideration uh, I will open here close that one and not save it and I will open uh, curtain 02 I'll open curtain 02 and uh, here select the curtain wall on the left uh, first activate the host elevation the host elevation is already activated and I should select the curtain wall on the left here I have one on the right and one on the left so this curtain wall I should change the horizontal grid justification to center so I will go here to the horizontal grid justification I will change it to center and now what is the area of the highlighted panel uh, to get the area of the highlighted panel I'll just go here and I will press tab now this panel is selected and I can see here the area is 2.329 the area is 2.329 I will close that one and go to the next question question number four um, open BP zero two. so if you can that's something I, I, I wanted to say that if you see this question okay and the last one bulk grids it's not as bulky as the stairs question if you see the stairs there is a lot of givens and are a lot of steps uh, unlike the this this one about rooms or this one about the west elevation or uh, this one about the warning uh, that's the, the difference I was talking about at the beginning that uh, the bulky questions are uh, I'll go back again are the, the stairs the top of surface the roof the floor and the ceiling those are the, the bulky ones so back to our, our question here it's BEP02 I will open BEP 02 and I will review the wordings in the project to review the wordings I will go to manage and uh, go here to warnings and it's required how many uh, uh, warnings I have and here as you see I have two warnings so that's not a difficult question. I will close that one, close this one also. And next question open sheets 02. Open sheets 02. And activate sheet 800 plan. Activate sheet 800 and it's required create a new guide grid with the name uh, guide grid 1 to create a guide grid I will go here to uh, view and here to guide grid and I will create a guide grid with this name and change the guide uh, spacing to 100 20 millimeters to change the guide grid spacing I will select it 
and here in the properties palette I will type 120 and apply okay. now it's changed um, the question is how many horizontal guide grids do you see excluding the guide grid frame how many horizontal guide grids okay horizontal guide grids so the question uh, he wants to know how many horizontal guide grids excluding the frame this is the frame as you can see i will exclude this from my number so the answer is one as you see here it is one that's not the frame this one one two three four five and six the answer is six <coughs> the answer is six uh, next uh, question Okay. Here it says open uh, M5B and activate level 1 floor plan. Create a color fill legend for this plan using the room name. What color do, does it display? What color does display the whole uh, room? To solve it, I will go close that one and i will follow the instructions okay it's m 5b and i will activate the level one floor plan and i will create a color fill legend using the room name to create a color fill legend using the room name I will go to annotate and here I will go to color fill legend and I will click here here it asks me the space type the color scheme I will choose here room and it's required by room by room name by room name. and I will press ok now I have all the rooms uh, what color does display the whole room okay i will go to the room and as you see here the color is cyan uh, maybe you get confused is this cyan or blue or what color is this but if you go here you will find that there is no other option the other options are red yellow orange so they are uh, apart from uh, different from the cyan color i'll go to uh, next open collab 01 and the question is activate level one floor plan activate the option gray in active work sets are the room tags great so i will close that one close that one and i will open collab zero one <laughs> I will activate the option uh, first I should activate level one floor plan I will activate level one floor plan and activate the option gray and active work set to find this option I will go to collaborate and here I there is the tool gray and active work sets I will press on it and the question are the room tags great and as you can see here when i did press this the room tags are great so the answer is true 
next question close that one I will open uh, legends.rvt open legends.rvt and create a new legend with the following settings name desks the scale 1 to 50 and place the following views for the component uh, and chair uh, broyer as I think it is pronounced and uh, I should put those views and the question is which view represents the image below so I will follow the instructions I will uh, okay that's legend the question is to create a new legend view to create a new legend view I will go to here to view legends and here the name should be desk desks I think and the scale is 1 to 50 the scale is 1 to 50 and um, I should put the left right front back to do this I will go to annotate and components and here a legend component and which chair should I use the M chair yeah I don't know how it's pronounced uh, really but here I should put the left right front back uh, so I will just put four and then I will change it front back left right the question says which view represents the image below which view this one is the elevation left so I will go here and select elevation left 